Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys an application that turns on certain features within your device to enable you to control your music tracks with your screen on or off using your volume keys. We're going to go ahead and demo it on the Galaxy S10 Plus, but this should work on any Android device running Android 8.0 or higher. This is TK, let's check it out. Like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever we push out new videos on the channel. The name of the application we're taking a look at today is called Next Track. Now there is a pro version and a free version. The free one allows you to be able to basically test out the functionality to see if this works. And I think the free option is only basically customizing the double press which takes you into the next track. So if you just want to be able to test it out to see if this works or even just use that feature, the free one should be pretty fine for you. But if you want to be able to enable other options, an example would be here, running either the single press, the double press, or even the long press, you definitely want to be able to get the pro version. Keep in mind, not all the functionalities are working exactly the same on all devices. It is supporting Android 8.0 or higher, but I seem to see that some of the features don't always work. The ones that are definitely 100% worth it and work on this application are these. The double press next track forward, as well as the double press uh, next, uh, well, the volume down, and then you can go previous track. And that's something that I've always wanted to do on my phone without having to turn it on. So let's say you're listening to music on Bluetooth or a wired connection here with the S10 Plus, and you wanna be able to skip tracks or go backward and you like that song, you wanna to listen to it again, but you don't wanna turn on the device and then find the widget, and especially if you have more notifications, expand, there's just a lot of functionality. All you wanna do is be able to turn off, the, just basically hold your phone, double press the volume up button, and then start listening to music. And that's what we're gonna be able to do today with this service. First thing we wanna do is make sure to have the right settings turned on. Uh, by default, 400 milliseconds is the delay for the double press. It does require it to basically sit in the background. Um, it starts on boot because it's a service that needs to be running in the background, so you'll notice it right there. Next track service is enabled. You can enable it and pause it directly from the notification if you don't wanna have it interfere with the application that you're using. Let's say you're watching a movie or so on and you don't want it to skip the episodes or so on, you can disable it right there. So it is active and you can actually see it there. Uh, conversely, you can always go in here and then disable the application, but that's much faster from the notification panel. Out of the box, it does automatically only work with screen off. You can turn on screen on. The headphone jack, uh, resume and plug, that depends on your device. Some devices have this already turned on as a feature. If you unplug your headphone jack, the music pauses by default. So that's something that I'm thinking maybe that's why it's not working on my devices right now. And vibration, that's only if you want to be ha have a vibration notification every time you initiate in action. But other than that, customizing it's pretty simple. Uh, you can go into the volume up the way I have it here. Now I have it configured to go with the double press next track, but you have other functionalities. You can go previous track, stop, mute, and do nothing. And of course, volume up. Now I decided to leave the single press as normal volume up. So if, whenever I hit the press once, it just goes up. And as long as I'm not doing it too fast, I'm able to go volume up, volume down. And if I double press it, it will skip to the next track. And I have it set up the same way. And what you want to do obviously on the uh, volume down is the opposite of what we just did that. And essentially is use, use the option that says previous track. So one of the really cool things about this is that let's say you do have a music player sitting in the background that you're not using and you already have that service turned on, double pressing starts the actual music, goes forward, see so and And the music that we're trying to listen to here is the NCS uh, library directly off of Google Play. These are non-copyrighted songs, so if you'd like to check that out, I'll make sure to link that for you guys in the description below. But the main benefit of this, of course, is when the screen is off. I'm listening to this track, I'm listening to it using the headphone jack or Bluetooth headphones, and I want to skip. Let's go and turn it off. And all of this is done while the screen is off. You can listen to music and you can start and stop it again. You can customize the different options that you have in there and it works great. And conversely, again, it works the exact same situation here. I have the same configuration and the same thing will work over on the P30 Pro. So the music track is playing in the background. I have YouTube music playing here and it's an unknown uh, player sitting there with the non-copyright music and I'll go ahead. Track start.
So what's cool about this application is that it enables us to keep the functionality of volume up, volume down. Now you can customize that and enable the volume up, volume down using the double press. That's a functionality that you can do. So you can actually make it so that nobody can actually control your phone except for you. Uh, but I think if you just keep it simple and just press it one at a time and not pressing it very long, you are able to still control your volume and double pressing now goes forward as well as goes backward depending on how you have your configuration set up. Um, keep in mind that sometimes some of our devices have battery optimizations and we do need to exclude this application. Otherwise, it doesn't work in the background. So that's something you want to keep in mind. And if you're watching movies and you don't want to have any issues with it, you just want to use your volume rockers normally, go into the notification panel without skipping or leaving your movie application. And of course, just pause the service, watch your movie, and when you're done, turn it back on. Everything goes great. Um, I like the fact that we don't have to turn on our display to be able to skip our tracks. That's always something that I love doing on my phone, but it always bugs me that I have to unlock it. And if I have any notifications there, it actually starts bogging down and the widget for music tracking actually kind of gets bumped up to the top. So it's no longer centered and you don't see the album art. So this makes it very, very simple and it is very easy to use. Like and subscribe as usual and let me know in the comments below what do you guys think. And of course, share this with your friends if you think they'll be able to use and enjoy this application on their brand new device. This is TK and I'll see you guys in the next video.